by way of background, uh, Ørsted was basically founded uh, by a merger of six Danish energy companies uh, back in 2006. Uh, we were all focused on uh, oil and gas exploration and uh, also producing heat and electricity from coal-fired power plants. But when we were standing in 2012, we were basically faced with uh, gas and oil prices uh, under pressure. We didn't have the uh, cash flow uh, for, the, for our business, uh, but at the same time, we could see a massive growth opportunity uh, in renewable energy. And uh, we had some expertise from offshore wind uh, that we have built up over 20 years. We could see that the customer being uh, the ratepayers, being the society, uh, wanted to respond more to climate change, certainly in Northwest Europe. Uh, so we needed to find a way where we could sort of fuel a new growth strategy, uh, but we simply didn't have the, the cash flow coming in. So what we decided to do was essentially a couple of things. Uh, we took some uh, major decisions to streamline and divest what we uh, determined non-core businesses. And uh, we also went out and uh, got some uh, equity injection uh, from the capital markets. And uh, by that way, we certainly had a, a way to uh, basically push uh, the speed of our renewable um, uh, growth. We basically determined that offshore wind would be uh, our new growth opportunity for our business because we had some expertise in offshore wind, but we could also see that the, the expertise we have basically gained from our oil and gas experience were kind of similar and could be transfers into to offshore wind and we could see an uh, increasing demand uh, from a number of countries that they wanted to uh, uh, deploy the oceans uh, and then harvest the energy they could get from that. So uh, we took a decision saying okay we've done this before, uh, we know there's still some way to go uh, but we uh, could use some of the workforce we already had and uh, we trans uh, transferred them from our oil and gas best business into our offshore wind business and starting to ramp up the investments into to offshore wind. No question that the, the biggest obstacle has been cost. Um, offshore wind has been fairly expensive when you compare to uh, other more conventional energy uh, types, uh, but over the last four or five years we've really seen a massive reduction in the cost uh, of this technology. And it's been uh, basically driven by a number of uh, things. Number one is volume and scale. When you go from uh, smaller projects to bigger projects, you take out a lot of cost due to scale benefits. But also, as you see more uh, countries uh, demanding offshore wind, you see the volumes getting up in the supply chain. And I would say above all, the technology has uh, improved. So we had smaller turbines early on. Now we have big, more efficient turbines that can capture more of the, of the wind and uh, they also taking out uh, what we call capex, so uh, a lot of the investment go, goes out. So that has been the main obstacle. Uh, we've taken out more than 60% of the cost over the last four or five years and right now we are competitive with most other um, energy forms. When uh, I started uh, Ten years ago, uh, we were like 80 people in, uh, in offshore wind. Uh, we were the, the cute little team that were working with wind turbines, and today we are 2,000, 3,000 people working with offshore wind. You obviously have changed, changed a lot uh, in the way uh, the company is uh, looking at this, at this industry. Yeah, I think the, the biggest takeaway is you have to be a little bold uh, when you make these kind of decision and you need to set a clear vision, uh, which we did. We basically said that we want <laughs> We believe in, in, a, in a world that runs entirely on, on green energy and we basically th believe that, that this is the way the world is, is going so we better get started early on and uh, I think you have to go uh, all in when you make these kind of decisions uh, otherwise uh, you cannot uh, follow through and I really think we, we did that uh, and we've done it very rapidly because we had a clear vision. I think it's very important that you have a patient 
shareholder and management when you go through a transformation like this. And uh, I can happily say that 10 years in, it's been very successful for, for us that uh, we're one of the leading green energy companies uh, in the world. And 10 years ago, we were one of the most polluting companies and utilities in, in Europe. So it's been uh, a bold move, but a very successful one.